Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Vail. I'm going to teach creative people how to sell their art online. And today, like many other days, I'm all about print and demand jigsaw puzzles. Now, I posted a YouTube short yesterday that actually got me quite a lot of DMs saying that I'm torturing them by not revealing the reason or the supplier, basically stating that I got the best quality print on demand puzzle from a supplier, but I won't be using that supplier in any way, shape, or form and I didn't say why. So this video is going to be about that and guessing by the title of this video you can already guess that this supplier is Guten. Guten has actually been one of my first print on demand suppliers many many years ago when I was using them to do mugs and other stuff like magnets on Etsy and later on switched to Printful and that specific store was also shut down but that's a very long story. But I did want to test out their print on demand puzzles because one, they, you know, they have them and two they didn't look to be so expensive and i do know that their product quality is usually good so i gave that a shot and i got these two boxes here with me as you can hear one of them is already empty because that puzzle was completed yesterday and the other one is full now i wanted to do the full unboxing video with you guys i also wanted to do it with my dad and actually yesterday we started making this video reviewing these puzzles together. The thing is, once we got to the point of actually doing one of these puzzles, which is by the way, that painting over here that I'm just going to show you on the screen in full resolution because you know, it's over there. It was a 500 piece puzzle with that painting that we wanted to do on a time lapse, but combining my back problems and you know, uh, my dad being older, so he had a hard time just sitting on the floor and doing this on the floor. I had a hard time when we were trying to do it on the table. And in general, we felt like even after half an hour, we're not really progressing that much. And I can't really record like seven hours on my phone. And also, you know, I had stuff to do, he had stuff to do. So we sort of abandoned that idea. And it just, it was just decided that I'm just gonna do this video alone. I was doing that puzzle on the floor in pieces. My dad started it yesterday on the table and we got it down to the floor. Then I continued it, then Misha helped me out, and we finished it together like really late last night. I remember kept telling Misha like, I can't believe this is my job. And you know, you don't even know if it's like a good thing or a bad thing. Cause you're like, on one hand, it's really cool that a part of my job, let's call it like that, is to make puzzles. On the other hand, it was kind of annoying. We both had our backs completely tied. And I think it took out kind of the fun of making a puzzle when you know you have to make a puzzle. But I'm going to carry on with the review, even though um, this is not the official unboxing, because as you can see, I already removed these. So I ordered two jigsaw puzzles from Guten. I could not have ordered them to Bulgaria, because they don't ship to Bulgaria. And we were also thinking at the beginning, I'm going to order them to Slovakia, to Misha's family, and they're going to ship it here, because it's really fast and really cheap, because it's in the EU. But they also didn't ship to Slovakia, so I ordered it to my dad in Israel, which was, by the way, one of the first times I've ever seen a print and demand supplier that doesn't ship to the EU, <laughs> but ships to Israel. Fine. In any case, I paid a total of $32.80 for a 252-piece puzzle and a 500-piece puzzle, plus $26.98 shipping. So that's a total of $59.78, so like $60 for two puzzles, plus taxes, like customs. Uh, which is a lot for a puzzle, but as you heard in yesterday's short, that was one of the best puzzles, the best quality puzzle I've seen in my life. The pieces of the puzzle were just super shiny and amazing. They were really easy to connect. I think that the colors of the actual puzzle were incredibly accurate to the actual color of my artwork, and I was just stunned. I kept looking at it thinking, you know, this is seriously some high quality fun to do puzzle. But the problem for me with selling Guten puzzles and taking this seriously is not the fact that they don't ship to Bulgaria or to Slovakia or the shipping prices. My problem with Guten's print and demand jigsaw puzzles was the packaging. Now if I look at just one box and uh, you know if I'm looking at the box itself it's actually pretty good as you can see obviously this specific puzzle is on the floor right now so it's not in the box but if I want to show you this one the pieces originally came in this uh, nylon wrap inside and even though this is 252 pieces and this is 500 pieces it's the exact same box I don't mind because I kind of like smaller boxes than bigger ones 
I have enough big puzzles at home. I really like having the smaller boxes. And the printing quality was pretty insane. So the other puzzle, the 252, was actually a puzzle that I wanted to make sort of uh, like a collage, even something to inspire you guys with how you can be selling puzzles. Because you can sell puzzles with your own art or you can sell custom puzzles. So for example, there is a photo of me and Misho here and a photo from a trip we took to the seaside and a photo from the winter that we had here in Bansko plus like three sentences from me to him. So it's sort of a way to customize, you know, puzzles for couples and stuff like that. And I do have to say that the printing quality was quite astounding. And I don't know if you guys can see this, but do you see that there is like this white line here where I'm pointing? That's literally a part of my hair. The, the printing quality was insane. And as I was looking at it, all the colors of the pink and the, and sort of the burgundy and the blue and, and the sand colors, they are insanely good. But, um, you know what? I'm just going to hold this box and have you think what's wrong with this puzzle. This is the box that people get. Let's compare for a second. I have here puzzles from Society6 and Zazzle. Obviously these are puzzles made by a marketplace, so they will be branded by the marketplace. So you see like Society6, you have the painting of the puzzle, and then you have 200 piece puzzle, and the size of the puzzle. You also have that it's made for age eight and up because there are small pieces inside made in the US with Paperboard from Spain, that was a nice addition. Every purchase pays an artist, which is the Society6 slogan. Now, the Zazzle box, and don't mind the fact that it's completely smushed, that was FedEx here. They literally stepped on my box. I hate them. In any case, <clears throat> we have here Zazzle, size 8 by 10 inch, 110 pieces. Warning, choking hazard, because it has small pieces made in the USA in a barcode. Now, when I ordered the Printify puzzle, obviously it doesn't come branded by Printify because it's meant to be integrated with your own store. But it does say 11 by 14 puzzle, 252 pieces, age 9 plus, and a big photo. These, on the other hand, never mind that this is upside down, whatever. Thank you. Order number... Eight nine seven six three three zero. That's nice. A QR code. Ben Yu. My father's last name is Ben Uri, so that's the beginning of his last name. Bagline. Hashtag. Four one one three two four nine six dash zero 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 one three dash sixteen. What is that supposed to be? <laughs> um, what is that supposed to be? A client who's going to order from a shop of mine is going to get this? What is 316? What is the QR code? I want to check the QR code, but I'm using my phone for this video. And inside, you also get one of these things where, again, you have the QR code and then it says Benu again. And here... 13.5 by 10.63 puzzle, uh, no inches, but this was, you know, supposed to be uh, 14 by 11. Bag line, hashtag, la 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 la, and then a very long serial number. Unclear. Now, a part of me seriously thinks, you know what, maybe it doesn't matter. I've been looking for the perfect jigsaw puzzle supplier for such a long time that it's been messing up with me, but... I think that if someone orders something from your store for like 30, even $40 if you want to make good profit and then gets this, there is not even a choking hazard on this. Is that even legal? Shouldn't you like have age restriction on puzzle? Isn't that a federal thing? I, I don't know. I really would love to hear your opinion on this. I mean, you found the perfect puzzle. It's amazing. Would it change your mind working with that supplier based on the packaging? I would really, really love to know. So let me know in the comment section down below. I am still very bummed out because this puzzle has insane qualities. The printing here, however, is not that good of the actual sticker. 
And I don't know if you guys can see this, but there is sort of a gap, a big gap between, I'm trying to like move it around. There is a big gap here on this side between the text and the line. And here it's very small. I hope that you guys know that that's not how I design stuff. This text was completely centered and I don't know if when I make it, it's also gonna be uncentered because it's also smaller here. So obviously they're cropping the sticker not in the same size of the puzzle. And when we were doing this puzzle, when we started doing it, it was actually really hard to do this puzzle based on the box because the print is not actually accurate. We were actually looking at this painting and also the colors are not quite correct in this box and on the actual puzzle, which does have a very big significance, especially with all these splatters around. And when we got to doing this puzzle, we were actually looking at the colors of this painting here. And that one is from Teespring. It's actually one of the best posters I've ordered in my life. Their poster quality is so good. And a part of me kind of hates myself for just getting so um, excited and just putting it on the wall <laughs> for making a review. But we do have a lot more reviews for other wall art items like canvases and wall hangings, whether they're from Printful or from a new supplier that has not been on this channel yet. I feel like I'm ending this um, jigsaw puzzle review on a very low note. There was no time lapse because the puzzle, we were literally working on it on and off pretty much all day yesterday. My dad is on his way uh, to Greece right now to end his vacation in Greece, so he's not here in Bansko, but he says hi to all of you, and hopefully we'll see him in other future videos. Um, that's, a, that's a low note to end. I know. I give this print on demand puzzle from Guten pretty much a 12 from a 1 to 10 scale on quality and a zero <laughs> packaging. So it's kind of a bummer. I really want to know what you guys think about this. <laughs> I can't even say this. Would you like to get a puzzle that says order number 85 something 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 dash something something serial code? Please let me know in the comment section down below. And of course, like this video if you found this content useful. It really does help my channel. And subscribe to this channel if you are not yet subscribed. I do have a busy weekend in front of me, even though usually there are not many videos on the weekend. And there are two reasons for that. The first being that we're going to Skopje, Macedonia on Monday. So I do want to bring out some content beforehand, which means that tomorrow on Saturday, there's going to be a Redbubble shop review and I hope that you guys will enjoy it. And the other reason why I'll be working this weekend is because Sunday is the 1st of May. And as I promised, every 1st of the month, there's going to be a goals video. So I'm going to go over how my month of April was, did I meet my goals and what are my goals for the month of May, including April's bundle box, which will be the biggest one yet i promise you the biggest one yet including really awesome stuff and freebies i thought about doing that video on sunday and then releasing it for a live chat on monday evening like i usually do but i have literally no idea what we will be doing on monday eve when we'll be in skopje i don't know if we'll be in the apartment already or not if we'll be outside how the internet's gonna be and i really want to chat with you guys so Saturday and Sunday, 7 p.m. Bulgaria time with Redbubble Shop Reviews and my goals for the month of May and the huge bundle box of April. But with that being said, <laughs> with these bad boxes, that was it from me for today. Thank you so much for watching. And as usual, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!